A large math class receives exam grades. We have no information about the distribution of grades. We draw a random sample of 25 grades. The mean of the sample is 70. The standard deviation of the sample is 10. I want to find the 95% confidence interval, the unknown population mean. Now, we've worked this problem out in the previous video where we were assuming that our population distribution was normal. And then we had two cases where the first case, we didn't know the standard deviation, and then the second case, we did know it. In the first case, that gave us that the sampling distribution of the mean was a t distribution. In the second case, where we did know the standard deviation, we had a normal distribution. Now, the case we want here, we have n less than 30 and no information about the population distribution. So our only hope is to pull out Chebyshev's theorem. Okay, Chebyshev's theorem applies to any probability distribution where you can compute the mean and the standard deviation. And then the results that come out are gonna be kind of crude. Okay, what Chebyshev's theorem says, the area within k standard deviations of your mean is gonna be at least one minus one over k squared if k is greater than or equal to one. So for instance, if I have this distribution here, I go out two standard deviations in each direction, then the area under our curve is gonna be greater than or equal to three-fourths. So to make this work in our problem, well, I want a 95% confidence interval. Okay, and that's gonna have two tails. So Chebyshev is gonna apply. We want the area under the curve to be 0.95. So what I'm gonna to try to do is figure out how many standard deviations I need to go out to get the 0.95. So I'm gonna set 0.95 equal to one minus one over k squared. I solve for k and I get 4.47. So it's gonna be the analog for the t or the z value in the previous problem. Now, if I wanna set up a confidence interval, I need the center. So that's gonna be given by our sample mean, which is 70. For the standard deviation, Okay, we want the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. So we take whatever standard deviation we have available. In this case, we're gonna take it from our sample. So it's gonna be 10. And then we divide by the square root of our sample size. So that'll be square root of 25, which is five. So our standard deviation of the sample distribution is gonna be a two. Now, confidence interval, you take your center plus minus, okay, your factor times your standard deviation. So I wind up with 70 plus or minus 8.94 for the endpoints, or our confidence interval goes from 61.06 to 78.94. If you go to the previous problem, take a look at the two confidence intervals there. You'll note here, since we have even less information than we did in our previous problem, this confidence interval is gonna get even wider. So the idea is the less information you have, the wider your confidence interval gets.